Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Falling Ford Financial. Uh, just an update here on uh, Porsche. I've uh, made a, one or two videos about them in the past. And just came across an article that looked kind of uh, interesting. Um, I cover uh, quite a few cars here on the uh, channel, uh, EVs especially. Uh, but here you can kind of see what they've uh, done over the uh, last year. It was in the $10, $11 range, and it's just uh, came down since then, just been dropping off. So um, down over 36% here in the uh, last year, in the uh, last three months, down over 18%, almost 19%. It's actually green here in the uh, past month, not even a percent, though. Here in the uh, past week, had kind of some interesting action, um, kind of ran up here almost the mid sevens kind of lasted for a day and then just fell off so it'll be interesting to see what was going on that day and here's a look at on uh, Friday so kind of some interesting uh, trade patterns um, I'm thinking about purchasing some of this one and uh, trading it and um, what's the worst that could happen another and it go down and have to hold it I guess so uh, but this is Porsche engages in the uh, development, manufacture, and trading of automobile. It operates through uh, Porsche, PSE, and Intelligent uh, Transport Systems. The uh, segment comprises uh, Porsche holding operations and contains the investments in Volkswagen AG. And so, like I said, I've uh, talked about this one uh, once or twice. I'll uh, try to find those videos in uh, Put those in the uh, description. Uh, so the uh, ticker is P-O-A-H-Y. I'm kind of interested uh, why um, Robinhood has it listed here because all the other sources that we'll go over shows it's over the counter. And last I knew, um, Robinhood didn't have over the counter stock. So kind of thrown me off on that one. But if you have any information on that, you can list it in the uh, comments. But uh, $20.85 billion market cap. High on Friday of seven dollars and two cents, low of six ninety. Fifty-two week high of eleven dollars and two cents, and low of six dollars and two cents. It even shows a dividend of two point four seven. Not much volume on this one, uh, not even a million, so just three hundred and fifty thousand shares. So kind of interesting on that one. Uh, but the article that I found, uh, Porsche believes soon its EVs will be more profitable than its ICE vehicles. And currently, the manufacturer aims for its EV profits to uh, reach parity and with combustion vehicles by 2024. So, kind of some cool looking cars there. But this is dated on the uh, 23rd, so just yesterday. But ahead of uh, Porsche's landmark, a potential listing uh, later this year. The firm is letting investors know the EVs will be very profitable in the long run. The Stuttgart uh, manufacturer uh, believes consumers are opening, open to paying more for battery tech and plans to leverage their willingness to its advantage. Currently, Porsche believes the EV profit will reach uh, parity with those of its ICE vehicles in the uh, two years. In two years, uh, once this point is reached, uh, Porsche will continue to raise the price of its EVs. Porsche CEO Oliver uh, Bloom recently stated the following, Our target is to selectively expand higher margin segments and to leverage electric vehicle pricing opportunities. Porsche Electric uh, Journey has so far been uh, largely positive. It's a uh, first EV. The Taycan has a resounding success. In addition to the uh, Taken variant, the uh, Cross Turismo ensured outsold the iconic 911 in uh, 2021. The re release of the uh, sleek Taycan uh, Sport uh, Turismo should lead to uh, even more sales success this year. Soon Porsche will launch a fully electric uh, version of its popular Macan uh, crossover that will be be followed by an electric uh, Cayman Boxster. Full-size electric SUV is also in the works uh, with, and will be made at Porsche's Lace Pig plant. 
So we've got a couple different um, models coming out. In the long run, Porsche wants to uh, push its overall return on sales from uh, 16 to 20 percent. The firm predicts eight in uh, ten vehicles it sells will be all electric by 2031. Porsche also reckons EVs uh, will account for half of the luxury market by the uh, same date. So, looks like they're on the way to um, kind of possibly uh, turning it around with their uh, EVs. So, over here on uh, Microsoft Bing, currently showing it as a hold at six ninety three with a one year price target of nine dollars and seventy cents. Here on uh, Reddit potential opportunity for investing in Volkswagen at a discount. Porsche believes it can make a more profit selling electric cars. That's what we just went over. Announces plans to launch a new high-end electric SUV. Over here on Stock Twits, currently at 693, low of 602, high of $11.02. $10.61 billion market cap. Appears as though the uh, plan to spin off Porsche in an IPO is still a go. So I haven't really looked at uh, Porsche all that much. Um, just not too many people are really talking about it. Um, I've covered Volkswagen once or twice as well. Yeah, but. All car companies have a potential in the uh, future with all their EVs, so that's why I kind of like to uh, watch all of them. So over here on uh, MSN Money, currently showing it as a hold with a one-year price target of nine dollars and seventy cents. But that's all that I have on uh, Porsche. If you have this one, go ahead and list it in the uh, comments along with your cost basis. Any other information you'd like to share on this one, and if you haven't smashed that like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me, as well as subscribing, and hit the bell so you're notified when the next videos drop. Again, this is Jay Money, following Ford Financial. Happy trading, happy investing, stay green. Cheers.